What is up everyone? Welcome back to another video. I hope you guys really like this video and today what we're going to be doing is showing you guys all of the new fish Malone's Monsters right here. The new fish that they're going to be getting. I think Jack and Chris are going to be getting a new hammerhead catfish. I believe that's what they're going to be getting. So let's head inside, see the new shipment. I think they just got it like right now before I got my camera. But let's head in. They also just got a new 1600 gallon pond right here. All right, here we go. This right here, there's Malone right there, or Bob. And then here he's in the background right there. But, all right, let's see it. Let's see what we got in today. We got some redfin prochilotus in. Some of the flag tails, nice size ones. We don't know who you are yet, but let's flip you around and see if we can see who you are. Oh, this is a red tail pyara that are in. We'll get those in a bucket in a minute. You'll get a better view of them. Oh my. All right, now we got the black ghost knives in. Everyone's been asking for the blacks. We haven't been able to get them. So we ended up finally finding the black ghost knives. Perfect little size to grow out. We'll get a better view of the pyar shortly for you guys. It's like Christmas, guys. I don't know what this is yet. It's Christmas. Hammerhead. These look like the hammerhead catfish. Oh, good size little hammerheads. Let's open it up so we can get a better view of them. These guys are going to be the first to go into the proper acclimation. Hello. Right there. Sorry about that. <laughs> so here we go, the hammerhead catfish. Crazy looking. Nice. <laughs> I, I laugh at them. I just love them from the top. This is another one that should be in a pond as you see the shape of their head. They'll be nice and fat by later. See how skinny they are coming in? That's not Malone's monster size. Where do you see him in another few days? Yeah. <laughs> if you guys want to go check out all these fish on his Instagram, it'll probably be up there by the day I'm posting this video. So if you guys want to go check it out, his Instagram will be right here and also linked down in the description. It is an awesome fish channel. Or, and just look at it. Just look at this whole entire place. It is insane. Alrighty. So we're just going to go with our Aronicos, these are the ones we always carry. We just think they're some of the best, hardiest ones that we can find. So we keep these for now until someone proves me different and it has a better breed. Who do we got in here? Oh, it's a little baby Paku. Little one. These are little itty bitty babies. What I call these guys right here, I call those the Penny Paku because they're so small when you first get them. So tiny. These are going to be on special on Paco Tuesday. Coming up soon. Oh, it's the little baby albinos. These guys, we don't have diapers this small, but we'll try to get some for these guys. Now, these guys look at this now because in about a week, that's going to double its size. In another week, it's going to double its size. That's what Pakus do. Paku are one of the fastest, fastest growing fish, especially the red tailed catfish, too. And all that exotic family, the fish grow really big and really fast. We have the pigtail chalcius. These guys are kind of neurotic, nice big scales, almost like a tarpon scale, beautiful color on the back of them. Great schooling fish with arowanas, these guys are. You keep your water temperature higher too. Remember, fish grow quicker in higher water temperatures. It's springtime, they think it's feeding when you keep your temperatures up a little bit, and they'll get fast quicker. Smaller fish actually require a higher temperature to make sure that they can thrive, just to let everyone know. Big arowanas. Big arowanas. Big, big, big. Let me just open this. Oh, good. It didn't pop. All right. There we go. Look at that. Nice big ones this time. So, if you want to see any prices for any of these fish that we just showed you, that will also be on his Instagram, which will be linked down in the description, like I said before. If you guys really want to buy any of these fish, they also have an eBay website where they can just straight ship them to your house. If you don't want to go through talking to people, then it's a lot easier that way. But if you want to talk to Bob or Carrie, the Instagram is the best way to go through them. They're very nice people. And this whole place right here is actually an awesome place to be. And it's not even like a fish store. It's almost like a lounge, he calls it. All right, so Jack and Chris are going to get one hammerhead peak or one hammerhead peak. <laughs> One hammerhead catfish and then two Orenko peacock bass. So this is gonna be the hammerhead catfish right here. 
I think these guys look the healthiest. They have color to them too. Yeah. Yeah, that one looks nuts. Nice. It's nice. So awesome. Go into the bag, baby. There he is. Crazy looking. Crazy, crazy. Got a great color on him. Yeah, that's awesome. But you're gonna wait a few days, but by the time I'm posting this, it's probably gonna be time for you guys to go ahead and buy some of these fish. All right, so Bob said that he's gonna be open usually from 12 to nine o'clock, from 12 p.m. to 9 p.m. So that's just enough time for you guys to come in and check it out after school and even after dinner if you guys wanted to. All right, just wanna show you guys a true acclimation. Take the water from the shop that you got it from. Put it all in a container. Try to use a dark color container. It will de-stress them a lot when they can't see light colors or something see-through. I always like a dark container. Now I have this much water in here. So my mark is going to be to right up here. I just have to double my water to make sure it's a complete, perfect acclimation. All right guys, just for an extra secure method of keeping them in there, I take a piece of styrofoam, cut the pit with a hole inside of it. Just poke a hole with a pen, it's about the same size as this. I'm going to take my tube, tie a knot into my tube, like so. Stick the tube in the water, where the knot is below the water level. Then, simply siphon from here. So this is how you want your drip to be. You don't want it any more than dripping like that. Now, if we want to adjust that drip, it's very simple to adjust it. If I want less drip because I'm acclimating smaller fish, I just tighten the knot. And then my drip slows down, as you see. Or I loosen the knot with bigger fish and more water and my drip will get faster. All right, guys, so this is the proper drip acclimation. Tube in the water, through the styrofoam. Now with every drip that hits the water, you're adding oxygen. This is something you, forget about, you can forget about for a little while and not worry about stressing your fish out because they're not getting oxygen or they're not they're getting rapidly acclimated to a higher pH, a worse nitrate level, a bad nitrate level or something. This is a slow acclimation so they can slowly acclimate instead of getting thrown into completely cold water for me and you that's completely different and smells like sewage um, from clean water or the opposite. Either way, it can backfire on you. So this way is 90 plus percent effective of acclimating your fish. Just double your water and let it drip, okay? And that's all you have to do and your fish will be nice, healthy, and happy too. Thank you guys. And then there's also a few things that you guys have not seen from my last video. He actually got some new stuff. Like in this tank over here, he has yellowtail barracuda, he has red belly paku and vulture catfish. So let's take a closer look right now. Oh, also, Tiger Shovel Nose Marble Akara Hybrid. And then this right here is literally the smallest arowana I've ever seen in my life. It is smaller than my pinky finger. That's how small it is. And then there's also vulture cat. Or, there's also vul. There's also vampire fish in this tank right here. And this whole entire side is just lined up with other fish. And then the other side also has new fish too. And if you all are ever wondering what one of my favorite fish is, I mean, I say this every time, but these right here. Look at these. Those are the black ghost knife fish. I've seen people tell me to get them on my Instagram and I'm probably gonna get them in the future, but not right now because I'm going back to Jack's house and we're gonna go film there. 
but these are definitely coming soon. Right behind me right here we have baby red tail catfish and baby marble aclara tiger shovel noise. And these other fish that I really, really want, but I'm not 100% sure exactly what they are, but I know they get decently sized. And then there's the red tail catfish right there, and then the tiger shovel nose marble aclara hybrid. And then I think these are like dragon golbies right there. Yeah, that's what that is. The albino paku are right here, and then regular paku, and a rinko peacock bass over there. Orinoco, Orinoco, that's what those are. But look at these. I really, really want one of those, and I miss having my packus this size right here. And boom, just like that, we are done. We just saw all the fish that just came in. You guys saw it with us. We're gonna head back to his house right now, acclimate these fish to his 55 gallon fish tank, and then I'm gonna end it off. Ready? All right, we got our two peacocks and our hammerhead catfish right there. You wanna look close? <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and start acclimating them. Put them in the tank. Oh boy. Let them sit in there for probably like 20 minutes. And once they're ready, we'll put them in the tank into their new home. So it is now time to put the fish inside of the tank. I'm almost falling asleep, so I'm pretty tired, but let's go. Do it. The two peacocks and oh, the sick. hammerhead catfish. Yep. Peacocks going in. Here goes the peas. Two little guys. Two little peas right there. Adventure. Into the tank. The glare. The thing is so there he is. Crazy looking. It so is. sweet. Yeah. Oh my. I'll hold it. Thing is wild. It's got a crazy pattern on him. That is an awesome catfish right there. The hammerhead catfish. The two peacock bass, they'll be getting bigger soon. The tilapia. But all in all, it was a freaking great day. So I'm going to give you guys an overview in this tank right now. The hammerhead catfish is showing you guys what exactly it is he ate it did he i got that on camera too <laughs> here the catfish is eat and, and i filmed it, and so you got it.